Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. As always, we're playing The Sims 2 today. I'm going to move seven teenagers into an apartment and I'm going to see if they can afford to live off just their part-time salaries. The reason it's seven and not eight is that we are going to have to have one adult move in with them. We're going to have to immediately off them. I better use my strong hand. But that's okay, it's all worth it for the experiment. I won't do a very long intro today, we're going to jump straight into it. But also don't come at me because I'm dressed like a fisherman. So we'll start with our mum, she can be called dead. I just chose these turn-ons randomly, but she's turned on by cologne and stuff. Think, so she's gonna struggle. There we are. We've got the teen family. I'll explain the names when we move in I'm hoping I can move into a cheap apartment here or as cheap as we can get because they are quite expensive here But they have enough space for everyone <coughs> I don't think I've ever lived here actually and it looks quite nice. We've got our mum here She's called dead because she's not important and she will be dead. Then we've got Bridal, currently giving a nuggie. We have Chad because the chin. We've got Goth. She's in the middle of being bullied right now. I was losing energy at this point. This is nerd. Purely because of his outfit. This is Rave at six, Golf at seven. You can't forget Space Face. And then I'd fully given up at this point. She is called Yee Hob just because of the cowboy shirt. These are very fancy apartments and I shouldn't have done this. Which one's cheap? Oh, that's not bad. Okay, I'm going to take this one. So we're going to need 3,000 simoleons by the end of the week. Literally a week today, if we do want to live here. There we are. Don't question the layout, okay? I only have six beds because I'm going to have a bed in this room. First things first, we need to get rid of our mum. Look for all sims. And now let's start getting people jobs. The newspapers arrive. And I'm going to get rid of our money now. No money at all, which is always great. Just take it. Whatever it is, bridal, take it. Nerd. You love computers. You're a nerd. Get the computer. Okay, only three of them have got jobs, and I already don't know who's got what, so I'm... <laughs> There's too much going on. Nerd, go turn that TV off. It's so loud. <laughs> okay, yee-haw, you're the only one that doesn't have one, so please be quick. Okay, well, everyone else is going to work. Yee-haw isn't because you didn't get a job in time. Um, dead, if you could keep it down, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Chad has the day off. Space Face has the day off. Okay, mo everyone who needs to be at work is at work. Okay, we can expect a lot of pop-ups. Why are you dressed like this? Oh, he's an oceanographer, so he dressed in shorts. Hey, nerd, is dead available to talk to? <laughs> you are so rude, whoever you are. Our life's miserable without music, so we've bought ourselves a little radio. And everyone's getting sick, so that's good. Literally everybody. <laughs> okay, what skills do we need for promotion? So anyone in law needs logic. You need charisma. I can afford a mirror for logic. Did I just say a mirror for logic? I meant a mirror for charisma. You know what I meant. Right, space face, you've got what you need. Oh, you need two friends. There's no way that's happening. Right, Chad, I'm going to get you working on log... Uh, why do I keep saying logic? I'm going to get you working on charisma too. Oh, nerd. You've literally left this bathroom to come and piss in this bathroom. Ravik 6, Golf at 7. You get out. Go to the toilet over there. One of you is going to have to sleep on the sofa because we need dead dead before we can <laughs> go to sleep properly. Oh, okay. Nerd decided he doesn't want to sleep in the house, so he's gone to sleep downstairs. But it's all good. Ah, <laughs> Who put food in there? Where are you all going? Cowards, the lot of you. Someone put that fire out. Well, don't worry about it. You're outside now. Okay, everyone's asleep. Even dead. One of them isn't in the house though, and I can't tell which one it is. Oh, it's Nerd. He loves sleeping out there still. Time for school. I'm going to make sure all of you go because I haven't fed most of you. Oh, dead's dead. And it stopped these people from going to school. Yeehaw, get to school. Goth, you should love this, to be fair. I'm not saying I'm crazy about everything at school, but my guidance counsellor says she's going to send a letter to my boss at work if I keep cutting out on school days. Space face. What the fuck? do you think you're doing? <laughs> I sent you to school. You were meant to eat there. You deserve that old manky sandwich. What a weird way to celebrate coming home from school. I didn't even know you came home from school. One of the bugs that happens with a lot of teenagers in an apartment is that they sometimes don't bring back homework and it just gives them A grades, which is good, I guess, but I wanted some drama. So it's just another day on the job where Nerd suddenly realises that he doesn't have any more fish to chum. The current amount of chum will probably feed the animals for half a day and Nerd was never given instructions on what to do if he ran out of fish. Should Nerd go out and buy more fish to chum or use artificial fish food instead? The animals we're feeding deserve the best. I'm going out and buying fresh fish. So Nerd runs out and quickly buys as much fish as he can, then returns to chumming. Emergency averted. Upon hearing about the potential disaster, Nerd's boss appreciates his extra effort and gives him a promotion. Nice. I usually fail at all of these chance guards, so I'll take it. A dolphin tank cleaner. You all right? You've got mechanical skills, they don't, so use them. I don't have mechanical skills. I can afford a bookcase, but I'm not sure if I want to spend all that money. Mechanical body and cleaning. Well, I'm just going to have to hope for another chance card to get to get you promoted, because I'm not doing that. 
Is anyone going to bring home a friend from school at some point? Because we need friends. My mum is dead, so I can afford a bed for there now. But I'll keep the urn next to the bed. That way you'll never forget your mum. We all need to use the bathroom, please. Get out of the bath. You're taking too long. And Bridal, you don't have to sleep there anymore. We've all got beds. Okay, for once, everyone's in a good mood. A really good mood, to be fair. Mostly just hungry, so we can all go to school and eat there. Who are you? Tara de Basso. Okay, she's the fancy one who lives above me. Back from school. Everyone's grades are going up because apparently they did homework even though they didn't bring it home. Okay, so Goth is in the intelligence career, just to clarify. So with his veteran detective partner, Goth is sent to investigate a missing pet. Goth is great with people. Plus, if this cat is dead, she's going to absolutely love that because, again, she's a Goth. Back at headquarters, when comparing notes, her partner becomes exasperated with Goth's sloppy note-taking and docks her pay... <laughs> docks her day's pay to teach her a lesson. Cool. Who's this for? Chad. And space first. Get out of the bath. What is going on out here? <laughs> I'm glad you're all having a good time. We are 100% going to get kicked out of our apartment if you don't start getting better at your jobs. But we're keeping it light, so that's good. Mum, what are you doing here? What are you so mad about? Oh, Ned just pissed because of his mum's ghost. My mum is literally just going around scaring everyone. <laughs> now everybody needs a bath or shower. Oh, no! Rev at six, golf at seven just died because mum scared us. He was my favourite purely because his name was so long for no reason. Hang on, what am I doing? I can plead for him. Goth, this one's on you. Stop making the bed. Plead for his life. No, <laughs> why did it take so long to remember I could do that? I'm going to add you to this room, I guess. Actually, we don't need all of these beds. So this is the urn room, which I'm realising has become a bit of a trend. I've never had an urn room before and now that's what I'm going to have. In every video, apparently. I desperately need my mum's ghost to go away because everyone's at risk of dying. Oh, mum, just get back in your urn, please. Okay, well, the school bus comes in an hour and everyone's in a terrible mood. Like, granted, yeah, your brother just died and your mum won't stop haunting you and all of your bathroom appliances are broken and also your house is covered in your own piss. But you've still got school. You are still going. We're all doing extremely well in school because we don't get homework because of this teleportation thing. But everyone's bored and falling asleep, apparently. And they all have work soon. Yeehaw, I hope you had a good two minutes sleep because you have got to go to work now. Okay, Ned's got another chance card. This could be our chance to start earning enough money to actually survive. So while going about his daily routine, Ned comes across an especially strange dolphin. It nuzzles up to him and quickly seems to form a friendship. It then swims to the cage entrance, which leads to the ocean and gently bumps its head on the glass. It seems to want to be free. Should Ned obey its wishes or keep it in? Be free, dolphin. I'm not going to do this to you. You can go. Nerd has developed a bond with this dolphin and really feels its urge to be free. He decides to open the cage door and as he does so, the entire group of dolphins make a break for it. Nerd is only able to contain one lone dolphin. When his boss finds out about the loss of all the dolphins, he's furious and fires Nerd. I mean, I saw it coming, but I really thought, I don't know. <laughs> like maybe they'll be like, oh, wow, we know that dolphins are very intelligent now. Have a promotion to researcher. Everyone else is back as well. So when I've got Nerd's needs up enough, we are gonna get him another job. It's Thursday. We've got about half of what we need. Not really. <laughs> I'm being optimistic for once. We've almost got half of what we need to pay the bills on Monday. Right, you two go watch TV so we can raise fun and social at the same time. There you are. You feel great. No, you've had enough fun. Thank you now, Nerd. You've got to get a job. Military 57. Take that. Yeehaw's needs are terrible and she's just chilling there like she isn't in the worst mood she's ever been in. Read a book. Treat yourself. I don't understand what that interaction was. <laughs> Give him a nuggie. He deserves it. He is a nerd after all. He's also in the military though, so careful. He has a gun. See, he loved it. I mean, the relationship bar doesn't look like he did, but he's first. Definitely did. I got distracted and I've just made goth and nerd fight all night. Now I don't know why I did it because now all the needs are terrible and they've got school. Who served a plethora of food for us? I'm taking it, whatever. Oh, we've got bills. I will pay the bills, but now I'm worried about paying the rent at the end of the week because I don't think it's going to happen. So we've got 1285 right now. Now I've got 908. Oh, great. Yeah, go and immediately smack him, why not? Everyone that's in the law career isn't working tomorrow or Sunday, but I need them to, so they're going to get a new job. That's Saturday and Sunday, so we'll take the gamer job. Everyone's just going to move to the gamer job. We're going to see if we can do it. We don't... Oh, we need creativity skills. We should hopefully be able to ignore the bills and also ignore our dead brother. Rave at six, golf at seven is healthy again. He is dead. I don't think he's as healthy as you're saying he is. Do you feel all right? 
You got rid of that chesty cough. Okay, Yeehaw and Goth hate each other. She, <laughs> so she's sprinting to fight her, apparently. I just want to point out that I didn't make this happen. I've only just noticed that they hate each other. Uh, don't serve breakfast down here. Why does everyone keep doing this? An easel costs 350. Why is it so expensive? Right, everyone just paint for as long as you can, even though the carpool comes in an hour. So, Goth, you're the only one painting. Chad, your chin. I'm sorry, I know I made that, but I just I forgot all about it until I just saw you then. Who got promoted? Who did that? Goth, you're a button masher. Well done. Look, she's never not thinking about work. Stop talking about gaming. So we've got another skill point. That should be what we need to start looking after these people. Because right now, we're not going to make it through to the end of the week. Nerd is sick with the flu. He just kissed someone with flu. I was looking at it. Okay, it's the last day we have before we need to pay the rent. We're nowhere near it. Is everyone that should be going to work going to work now? I am actually trying. I wasn't trying as hard at the start of the week, but now I really want them to do it. It's all over, as is Goth's short career as a button masher. She is demoted to noob. But nerd's back up to button masher, so that's good. Still not much money, but <laughs> might be enough. Rigel, you didn't get a promotion. Why are you so shit? <laughs> right, and no more promotions from Space Face and Chad. We're not going to pay our rent, and we're just going to see what happens. Whatever, go paint and we can... Why have you just smashed that urn, Space Face? That's your brother. <laughs> She's not even in a bad mood. All right, well, everyone's got school. You might as well head to school, see what happens while we're out. You might not have any of your things. No one's asked me for rent yet. Is there a reason? Do I just never have to pay? I won't be paying. Okay, it's officially Tuesday morning now. Nobody's asked us for rent still. We're still 1,000 simoleons short, and I don't know why I thought we'd be able to make it up. Oh, why? I mean, I guess at least everyone evacuates, but at this point, we kind of need a fire. Put us all out of our misery. She's resorted to morning drinking. Still no rent? You better pay up soon or I'll have to bill you. What does that mean? I'm just thinking, what happens if I kill my landlord? I don't have to pay rent to someone who doesn't exist. I'll just put a bookcase on each side of this door. So I spent quite a lot of money here and she still thinks that she's cheering the hedge. I'm going to wait till she finishes. What happens now? <laughs> have I just discovered the infinite rent loophole? Fire brigade are here, but they won't be able to get in. We're all just completely chilled about the fact that, I mean, Goth is loving it, but she does love death. What are you smiling at? It's all the drama, Mick. I just love it. This looks like trouble. I can't get to the fire. Yes, it's on purpose. Gotta run. Please be more careful next time. Bye. You're very relaxed about what just happened. You just let a woman die. Now I guess I'll just wait to see if anyone asks me for rent. Is this my new replacement landlord? Does the game just spawn another one? Yeehaw is healthy again. Yeehaw is sick with the flu. You cannot win in this house. It is a cesspit of germs. Okay, we're officially two days late for rent. So I just want to see if we can get to a point where no one even tries to make us pay. Who's this? This must be the new landlord. Can I request a repair? Even though I haven't paid rent. <laughs> is that too cheeky? Okay, he's coming to ask us for rent, I think. Still no rent? You better pay up soon or I'll have to bill you. You said that, why do you not care? Oh no, I was speeding through it to see what the landlord would say next. And Bridal's dead. Can we plead for love one? Goth, I know you hated her, but can we bring her back? No, I'm trying to... I played in time this time, <laughs> for God's sake. Well, I'll move you into the urn room, I guess. Someone has smashed our mum and brother at this point, though. I'm very disappointed in your inability to pay rent on time. You'll get a bill in the mail, and if you can't pay that, you'll have to deal with the collection agency. Does that mean I'd just get repo men if I don't pay? Your unpaid dining bill, dining bill, has been added to your home bills. The total was 2,930 simoleons. Okay, one, two. That one's 3,000. <laughs> That's 105. Just pay your bills. Yeehaw, I can't afford that. What do you want now? You need to tell me a joke. The joke is that I'm going to burn down your apartment because I can't afford the rent. <laughs> Looks like the apartment is in great shape. Not for long. Okay, this is all I can afford, so I'm hoping this burns enough of the house. You're very relaxed about what's happening right now. Your chair is literally on fire. No one seems to care. Oh, no. Okay, yes, they do. How did you get in? Oh, did it burn down the bookcases? I was trying to burn the house to the ground. Nerd missed work today. Sorry, I was on fire. You've got over the death of most of your siblings very quick, but I guess that's it for us. <laughs> so there you have it. I shouldn't have chose such an expensive lot, but I don't think I would have managed it on a cheap one anyway. So maybe we would have made it if all of our teens survived, but they didn't. <laughs> so I'll leave it there. Thank you all so much for watching. If you don't subscribe already, please do, and I will catch you in the next one. See you then.